And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a fun standard shakeup event that we're starting off this Sunday with. We are going to be um, taking a plaincation over to Dominaria. So there's this um, event that's pl uh, starting now, uh, Sunday, all the way till Tuesday that's called the standard shakeup where you could play standard with the following cards banned. I should move this thing just a little bit there. There we go. And so all of these cards are banned that you can see on the left hand side. Um, it's also just best of one. Uh, so it's, it's not something that you really uh, need to be sideboarding for or anything like that. So you're just playing a best of one event with all of those cards banned here. So uh, the prizes, it's, it's just a free event here on Arena. The prizes are pretty cool, though, because we're getting the Mirage Basics, because Mirage was on Dominaria. So with one win, you get this really sweet-looking Swamp. And then we have this Mountain. These are some, some really good basic lands uh, that a lot of people still use in paper that are uh, from, I don't know, mid-90s at some point. I don't, I don't remember exactly when Mirage was out, like 95-ish or something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. And then if we get to six wins, we get the Unhinged Island. We've gotten three of the Unhinged Lands so far. This is the fourth Plaincation event. This is the first one that I'm streaming and recording for YouTube and everything like that. So with our standard shakeup, what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm, I'm expecting a good amount of aggro. That's just kind of how best of one is. Even with a lot of these aggressive cards banned, they're still most likely going to be a lot of aggro. So I want some life gain. And... I can't really go on a plaincation without taking Hawkeye along with me, of course. And for Hawkeye, we're, we're going to be playing some cats. So we're going to be playing a Johnny's Pride Mate, a Johnny Strength of the Pride, and having a Johnny join us on our plaincation here. So this is going to be our plaincation deck. Uh, we're going 25 lands. We got a good amount of lifelink um, and just life gain in general in here. We got Bloodthirsty Aerialist, a Johnny's Pride Mate some good removal for aggro decks, um, you know, some, some good anti-aggro cards at the top end. And plus, even against control, we have, like, if we do get paired against control, we have Gideon Blackblade, Soren Vengeful, Bloodlord. We have a couple of good Planeswalkers against control also. Um, and, of course, the Strength of the Pride. So let's give this a try. Let's see how we do. Although I just did that. Choose my deck. Submit deck. There we go. Here we go. Let's play some games. Hey, 619. That is awesome, Rex. Congratulations. I didn't see that. Congratulations. Way to go. All right. Well, this is a reasonable hand. We just have removal and Gideon. And... We're hoping Gideon can win it for us. And a red deck. Hey, what's up, Kitty? Good afternoon. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, you went 6-0 with Sultai Flash in this thing. Good job. A lot of people are in here saying, I went 6-0 with this, I went 6-0 with that, I went 6-0 with that. I'm, I'm going to feel bad if I don't go 6-0 now. <laughs> Seems like everybody else is. I probably have one extra land than what I need for best of for best of one with the hand fixing format. Just in general. Um probably just gonna cast down here, I guess. You're six three with Chandra, Tribal. Six six one with Mardu Angels, there you go. 6 1 with Golgari Stompy. Um, it's better to be able to double spell with like Black Blade plus Legion's End next turn. So 
it's really better to be able to play Contempt here. You know, just checking to see if they had anything else to go along with that. Mizium tank. So it's crew one trample. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it becomes an artifact creature and gets plus one plus one until end of turn. That's actually kind of scary. Yeah, that's actually pretty scary. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna lose this. Should have legions ended the last turn and kept contempt for Mizium tank. Yeah, this like that's that's ten damage next turn. I have to chump block with a Johnny. A Johnny's pride mate. <laughs> Need to save contempt. I don't know what I was doing, not playing, not saving it for Mizium tank. Yeah, I know. What am I doing? Why did I think of Mizium tank? So maybe I have one too many lands. I don't know. Well, we're gonna play another deck, or play another. Sorry, not play another match before we change it. Crew one means that to turn the Mizium tank from being an artifact and into a creature, you need to tap one power worth of creatures to be able to to activate it and turn it into a creature. We need more lands in the deck. There's not enough. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think we have the right number of lands. Except I could maybe see one less, but that was just a little unfortunate drawing seven lands in one game. That's the problem with game with problem with best of one. All right, we're up to 21. We'll see if our opponent can overcome this huge advantage we have. 21 to 20 here. It'll be difficult. Good old best of one. You go from seven lands to two lands. Good old best of one. Hey, Gatsby. up to five the gods bless us in our righteous cause I will lend you my strength
So yeah, I could give it life link and attack with an, and trade with Judith, but I don't really want to trade with Judith. I guess I'm supposed to trade with Judith. Hey, Dang, I forgot these things were two ones. Say hi to my fiery uh, I was thinking there were one ones. I forgot there were two ones. That's kind of rough. Hmm. So I guess I have to trade with Judith. I mean, my Gideon's gonna die. Like I, I can kill Judith, but then the the trigger the ping that Judith does kills Gideon. So yeah, I should have done. I should have attacked with Life Link then. Ugh. Hmm. All right, please draw land. I think my best best thing here is to just draw land. I mean, hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't like any options that I have here. Don't like any options I have here at all. Well, that's rude. Don't worry. I brought company. I'm I'm expecting they do not attack with gutter bones. Okay, or they're leaving Judith back. Expecting one of the, one of the creatures to stay back. I guess it's Judith, not gutter bones. Swears right now. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to be moment of craving this Judith. Okay, doing it during their combat so they can't just play a, a new Judith. Kind of thing. Not to brag, but I'm this totally Acolyte of Flame card's really good. Student. So we're taking six. <clears throat> Hopefully we draw a land and get to play Soren. Hooray. My heart is hollow with scorn for you. <laughs> what a mess I am.
So I think I just let Soren die if they have, if they have an extra two points. Because we're just gaining a lot of life, putting a lot of pressure on them. Time to sleep for a week. Because, like, even if they have, like, an extra two points here and get to kill Soren, they're, you know, they're, they're facing lethal. So they have to be worried about that. And there we go. That looks pretty bad for us for a little bit, but that moment of craving was a wonderful draw step. Oh, so from, from leveling up, I got a rare, but there's no, or a mythic, but there's no mythic protection, so we got 40 gems. Whatever mythic we got, I already had four of. And there we go, we got a swamp. Awesome. One went down. One win down. Yeah, not having mythic protection there is very frustrating. Agree. <laughs> All right, well, here's our curve. Pride Mate, Resplendent, Strength of the Pride. Ooh, no, it's fine. I was thinking if I wanted to wait until I could scour Barons before playing the Pride Mate, but that's no, fine. Yeah, that's the 40 gems is worth 20 cents. So yeah, we got 20 cents for our mythic. With the with $100 is 20,000 gems. This is a blue red deck. Maybe this is wizards. Well, this is how we lost our first game. Just had seven lands. Seven lands is kind of rough. So if I if I play this, take up to six. They attack it down to four. Burn spell could kill the strength of the pride. They kill that, they get to kill that. No, we're just going to pass. The So, yeah, by Mythic Protection, they mean that whatever whatever that Mythic was supposed to be, that we don't even know what that what that was that we were supposed to get, be, we just get uh, 40 gems instead. The Mythic Protection means that since we have four of that Mythic, instead it would give us another Mythic from the same set. So I do not have all of the mythics in that set. No, I don't have all the mythics in the game. Don't like seeing our anti-control card. That's not good. <laughs> I 
I have all the rares. I have all the rares, but I don't have all the mythics. Hey, Wombler. Defend the weak at every up. Your light will cleave the darkness. Bell haunts a good draw. Maybe we'll draw a Lyra Dawnbringer also. <laughs> I can take a hit or two. Ooh. I believe in you. And life gain's coming through. Oh yeah, Bellhaunt definitely needs a card style. That art is really cool. That needs a card style for sure. And it's just a pretty popular card in Standard. What's up, Original Q? Welcome. Thanks so much for that resub. All right, kicking off our day there with our first stream. Life gain is cheating. <laughs> I am a Johnny Goldman, and I will be your friend. True friends always stand by your side. Consider just playing it, gaining two life, going to 14, attacking them for three. Where they're like incentivized to attack the Ajani. And I'm just trying to win the race. But instead, not doing that. Gonna have some blockers. There we go. Look at that. Draw spells. And our, our deck's good when we're playing spells. How about that? <laughs> Cat Dad pulling through. Yeah, that is cool. Johnny has Elspeth's cloak on him. That is really cool. I mean, well, I guess they, they didn't really have anything. I was going to be able to take up the Ajani, gain some more life, put a counter on the thing, and yeah, I guess they just didn't want to keep playing, I suppose. Man, everything in here is good. I don't know what to put back. I want all these cards. I guess I need to put back one of the four drops, I guess. Is it a Johnny? Do I just want to keep Bellhunt? Do I do I put this thing back? Maybe I'll put this back. This hand's pretty good. I can't I can't ship a land. I don't think. Put that thing back. Bell Hunt doesn't do the best blocking against Flyers, admittedly. Wish I would have put back the Bell Hunt. 
about now. Certainly glad we didn't put back a land. Look if we would have put back a land, how very dead we would be. Casting cost with Bell Hunt isn't very strict. I mean, we had three lands that no matter what land we draw, we'd be able to play the Bell Hunt. But yeah, obviously, drawing three more four drops. <laughs> Almost as, po as bad as it possibly could be. bad. Too many four drops. <laughs> yeah, we need a ritual set off the top. As, as you can see, we have played just against aggro, 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 aggro. That's all we've been playing against. It's all this. Seems like that's all people want to be playing. Ooh, the going first strategy. Yeah, we're going to try that out. That's a good strat. So I kind of feel bad for having these Gideons in here. I was thinking that maybe some people would play control. Because control didn't, didn't really lose too much, but no, I guess not. It's nobody's playing control, so it sh shouldn't really have these Gideons in here. Maybe we should take them out. Was that worth it? I don't understand. Oh, why didn't I wait till their turn to cast down? Oh, that's that's what we're saying. Why did why did I cast down there? I know that thing's unblockable. Just get out of here. I am perfectly fine with getting rid of that thing. We played a whole lot of Magic yesterday. I'm probably not going to be playing the best today. I'm going to be taking easy routes like that. Just cast down the thing I can't ever block. Move on. Alright, so Deep Root Elite is going to have to go. Yeah, Soren would be a wonderful draw step. Agree. I think I'm going to hold the Aerialist back. Maybe be able to get some good blocking in here. Hmm. 
<laughs> Everyone's playing aggro in the event, so then I put some ritual of sets in the deck. Boom. Only since then, only paired against control. <laughs> of course. I should have more Othakayas in my deck. For all this aggro. Let me lead the charge into darkness. I believe in you, friend. And Othakai is pretty great how they can't even attack Gideon. Like, they they attack Gideon, and then Othakai triggers, and I, I gain some more life and trigger the Aerialist and Pride Mate again. Four color gates? I bet that's a good rec. I bet that's a good deck. Just a ton of gates ablaze and deafening clarions and stuff like that. That's probably a good deck for this event here. What do you want, kitty? All right, we're three and two. Probably should be taking out a Gideon for another Othakaya. But oh well, we're gonna keep it going. Othakaya was awesome. See, this would look better as Othakaya. Should probably get like another one of these or two in the deck also, in this format. Make it even more anti aggro. Which three drop am I putting back? Resplendent Angel or Bloodthirsty Aerialist? This is better, like, in the late game after we already have Dawnbringer out and doing stuff, but then, like, by that point, we've probably already won anyway. This is going to be better, like, to play on turn three, and then you make it a three, four. I guess not really that much better, though. We'll get rid of the area list. Ooh. Some dismal backwater. Do we find the control deck? Good thing we kept the Gideons in there. Augur Bolos, look at the bottom three cards of your library. Without fail. Oh, it's the reanimate deck. Should all strive for a a pure soul can inspire others. This could be really bad. They have reanimate and bring back Agent of Treachery. Yep, could be pretty bad.
find your inner strength. Could be pretty bad confirmed. GG's. That was pretty cool. Blood for Bones, Agent of Treachery. That's a combo. That is a combo. Guess I need to kill the 1-3 the with Oath of Kaya, but maybe they also had... Or we don't know. They could have had you know, the 5 mana re reanimation spell as well. We don't know. Alright, all we gotta do is draw some lands. Three lands in particular. I have one removal spell. It's not like I could just keep them off creatures forever. They could have easily just had another creature in their hand that they would have just played the other creature. And I wouldn't have had as much anyway, so... You know, then they just do that Agent and Treachery thing the next turn. So... It's not like... Playing Othakai would have got us... Would have guaranteed to get us there. All they needed was one other creature. In their hand. Hey, real Harand. Welcome to the channel. Justice. Thanks for that sub there. Prepare for battle. I appreciate that. Hopefully we get this land here. Wow. Luck is not on our side. If we would have gotten the land, I would have othakaya the Gideon. I mean, I, I kept a, a two-lander that had five cards that I couldn't cast, so. <laughs> you fight dirty. Guess it happens. What happened to our eight lands we had last game? Share in my light. Hooray, best of one. Hooray, best of one. So much fun. All right, going on to our next match. Yes, well, if if a game like that happens in best of three, that's where you put in your sideboard that makes your deck very good against your opponent's deck, and you win games two and three. I would say I probably lose a majority of my game ones, if I had to guess. I don't win a lot of game ones with the decks that I play. I won a lot of games two and threes, though. Well, 
Well, the thing, yeah, I guess that, yeah, that doesn't have to do with lands, but I also, you know, you get to make mulligan decisions based on knowing exactly what your opponent's playing also, where, you know, like, you don't, you don't really have that information in game one. That makes a big difference. And so, like, that's that's what that decision was about, was was mulliganing or not mulliganing. So, yeah, this looks like Simic Flash. This plays around Spell Pierce, where Contempt doesn't. I guess it doesn't play around on someone, though. And Contempt would have. So I guess there's that. That's going to cost me this game. Yeah, they would have yeah, they would have just hunted some of the wolf. That's true. Hmm. So we'll see if we we'll see what's going on over here. Two tricksters and an unsummon. Cool. All right, moving on to the next one. Hey, Link. Welcome to the channel. And 619, thank you so much there.
This could be pretty bad. If Gideon's not good. Alright, board the weather light. I don't I haven't seen that card in a very long time. Gideon. Alright, Gideon's on the empty battlefield. Gideon Jura. Very good sign. Your light will cleave the and we can have Aerialist plus Scoured Barons to be able to gain the life to put the counter on the Aerialist immediately. Alright, Traxos is not a good sign. <laughs> that thing's gonna kill Gideon. Well, you get to attack once, Gideon. I will lend you my strength. I mean, I guess I could block with Aerialist. If I block with Aerialist and bring it back. I lose like one counter on the aerialist here. Nothing. I'm Sorin Arkham, Lord of Innistrad. Embrace the bloodlust. I believe in you. So we still get to make the aerialist a three four again, and we get to attack with Gideon again. If I would have let Gideon die, then I like I play Soren. I would I'd have to take up on myself because they have hex proof, but that would make the aerialist a four five, and I could attack for four, and then it turns into a five six. Uh, but then the the Soren dies, and I'm kind of done after that. Huh. Immortal Sun. I will spare another day, this villain. I walk a righteous path. You don't get to activate Gideon. <sighs> to give the aerialist life link. Alright, our life's not so great these days. It's four losses in a row. But Traxos. If you keep if you had to keep on playing legendaries and you're not playing against removal, Traxos is pretty rough there. Alright, we're going first. Good sign.
All right, looking good for us. Getting the Gideon out here, they can be another attacker as well. Hey, Thumbmore. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. So this is going to be a very good turn for us, but then our opponent's going to have a very good turn for them. The next turn, because they'll go, they'll be able to go Gideon, Ripjaw, or Gideon, or sorry, they'll go Ripjaw plus Savage Stomp, and then I don't know exactly what we're doing. I mean, maybe we're just gonna have Gideon minus six and get rid of their Ripjaw at that point. Their next turn's gonna be very good. Oh, they they killed the wrong one. Maybe they forgot about the 1-1 one, one counter. There is no greater treasure than quiet times with friends. Friendship soothes the soul. Good this day. Okay, well, let's see if this 6-6 six, six pride mate can get us there. Alright, they got a couple good chump blockers. Especially that raptor hatchling. I'm just going to sit back. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah, I, I didn't notice. Yeah, the I could have so I could have ultimated Johnny. So if I would have played the bell hunt, we would have we would have gone up to 35 also just like how we gained 3 life from this and then I could have done the zero have 15 more life. And then exile all my opponent's creatures, and then I attack them with the primate that kills them. Right, could have done that. We're still going to be able to do that, though. There you go. Thanks, Johnny. We're coming back. We need two more wins. We got a Ravnica Allegiance pack. Let's see what we get. Ooh, it's not just gems. Okay. Because I have all the rares in the set, so it's got to be a Mythic or a Wild card. Or a Mythic Wild card. Alright. Perfect. Best pack you could open. Alright, so we can get a couple more wins here. Yeah, the Mirage Basics have really good artwork, too. So like, these are definitely some good basics to have.
<laughs> you have more mythics than rares. That's, yeah, it, that's kind of like how it starts, having more mythic wild cards than rare wild cards, because of all the dual lands. But once you have, once you get all those lands and everything, then you start having more, then uh, start having more rare wild cards. So it looks like we just got blue black control here. Just play duress instead of thought erasure. That's the only thing banned from blue black control is thought erasure in this event. I am very surprised we didn't play against Jun Dinos at all, because yeah, there is no cards that are banned from Jun Dino, so I am very surprised we didn't play against that. Mona Craving's been pretty good. That would have been a really good time for a white source to bell haunt away their last card and make my pride made a 4-4. Life doesn't go always doesn't always go as you want though. We're pretty dead here. They just need to draw a land. Flip Ravager, and then we die. And I can't really deal with this Knight of the Ebon Legion, either. I'm really surprised they had a land. I'm really surprised they didn't just flip Ravager and kill Dawnbringer. Don't know why they didn't do that. Yeah, that they're just not. They're just not killing me. They're just focusing on the minus four part of Nicol Bolas and not the minus three part. So can't attack here because then if they flip Bolas, I want to, and if they would flip Bolas and do the minus three part of Don, minus three part to kill Dawnbringer, then Bellhaunt can kill Nicol Bolas now. Incredible. Should have done that long. Oh no, it's, it's it stays at four loyalty. Can't kill it. Together we can banish evil from this share in my light. Hmm. Can't really let really let them get back, Dawnbringer. Is endless. <sighs> this one drops crazy. It can attack for 14. I'm at 13. Right? Because 5, 8, 11, 14. Yeah, they could have just activated it and attacked for 14. Could have killed me. Yeah. 
Curse the darkness! Oh well. Down, 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 down. Four to seven. Deck's not doing too too well in our best of one format here. But we are we are playing against a whole lot of different interesting decks, as y'all were saying there. <laughs> yeah, we are going second all the time. Is that is that not what we're supposed to be doing? Three champion of dusks. Yeah. I was trying to think of, like if I actually wanted to play the Pride Mate out here into the Legion's End, but yes I do because then to so they can't just discard the Legion's End to a Bell Hunt. they drew it has to be a removal spell right it's not a land it's not it's not a land it's not a vampire it's got to just be removal Dawnbringer is my best card to be playing here Oh. It's just another one of those. I was thinking maybe Mortify, like they were wanting to save Mortify for Dawnbringer. Because I think if it's just cast down, then they they just cast down the Bellhaunt because they know they can't cast down Dawnbringer. So I was thinking it was Mortify. Alright, we got all five of the Mirage basics now. And now we're gonna try to get the island. Yeah, they had a play set of champion of dusks. I think I just get rid of this. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yep, go in second. Hex proof. So broken. Big. Hmm. Dun 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 dun. Don't love playing the aerialist there. I don't love just legions lieutenant or legions ending this turn either though. And those are the two options. 
Spectacular. I'm gonna do this so we can double spell next turn with the Othakai and Legion's End. Hoping they don't get to kill hoping they don't kill my aerial list here. Don't think we're winning this. You all short lives. Don't think we're winning this one at all. One one. Dun, All right, 619. Liliana instead of Raska in the Soul Tie Lands rotation proof deck. Trying to save tokens. Oh no, not Voracious Hydra. Come on. Uh, I was trying to stabilize here. Zedrain, I, I honestly don't understand your question. I don't... I don't know which Liliana and which Vraska you mean. But like, if if you like one of the Lilianas over one of the Vraskas, you know, definitely feel free to to do that. But I I'm not sure if you're talking about the four mana ones or the six mana ones. There's too many of the same Planeswalkers in Standard. I'm not sure what. But the, I'm trying to save tokens. Like, do you mean like wild cards, maybe? Or like tokens in the deck? I'm not I'm not sure. But basically if if you have a card that you like over another card, go for it. I guess we'll try this one. But so Liliana instead of instead of four mana Vraska? So Cause that's that's a difference there, but yeah, if you have Liliana's and you don't want to make Vraska's you can, but that is definitely a, a curve difference.
I'm not even going to count that one. I don't play any magic. Because I could have mulled the five. Anybody keeping track of how many times in a row we've been on the draw? No. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why best of three. You don't have to worry about. Even if you go on the draw one time, you're fine. Ugh. It's definitely a reminder why I don't play best of one. <laughs> So you've counted so all but three so let's see nine if we count that other one ten fifteen so your count is that we've been on the play three times and on the draw twelve times so far looks like another reanimate deck that has their reanimation spells. Atali's gonna be difficult to beat. I march into battle as your Atali's gonna be really difficult. Your light will cleave the darkness. No, I I know I lost one one game when we were on the play. I could take it. I think it was that blue black control deck. I think, or no, the mono the mono blue flyer, like the flyers, the blue white flyers. I think I was on the play on that one. I will have revenge for House Markov. The weak feed the strong. I really don't know how I'm beating this Atali. It's probably because Hawkeye is just laying down on the couch and not actually with me for our playingcation event here. Good job, QQ. I don't know how I beat this you card. Wasn't enough. Yeah, that's a start. I abhor my need for blood. That's a start. Be able to get it back, cast a couple more cards. Hopefully they hit land. Especially off my deck. Hopefully it's a land. It's possible we can get to a Johnny's ult. The Johnny ult is just the stuff that they control, creatures they control. It doesn't do the creatures in the graveyard or anything like that also. Hey, they had, they just hit the two best possible cards they they possibly could on both sides. How about that? That's my best possible card and their best possible card. How about that? The best possible cards. I have one Dawnbringer in the deck. <laughs> they found it. Huh. 
<sighs> We're on the play. We're on the play. But great part about best of one. We got removal because all the aggro decks and we're playing against control. Mid-range and best of one. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. Whoa. Our opponent's playing a creature. That's so good for us. We could actually use our removal. They have to just have Dobin's Veto, right? Like, they know about the Legion's End in hand. The only reason to play that is you have Dobin's Veto here. Or not. Well, we got a 3-3. Three, three. They have a 1-1. One, one. But they also have two cards. One card. Well, they get the first draw step. Dang, I drew my best card. Got countered. Get out of here, 1-1. One, one. Get that life gain trigger. And maybe that's game. We'll see what they hit. Maybe they'll hit a few lands. Well, that's two lands in there. Maybe the third card was a land also. Darn. Fighting tooth and claw is what it takes. Then so be it. Soren. Proud of those who walk beside me. Gotta kill Thief of Sanity, of course. Can't let that thing just continually get more cards. Oh, they didn't minus the Hijani first? What are they doing? Our true strength lies in our friendships. And they're not very good at a Johnny strength of the priding. All right, looking for another Soren. Still, still good. I could just kill their Strength of the Pride immediately, but I think it's probably better to get rid of this 
so that if they draw other life gain stuff, I have lost too much. Then that thing's out of there. I'll just keep these in hand because we've seen them play like these discard spells. Yeah. Yeah, if they would have minus first, they could have had a 4 4, a Johnny there. I can't play Dawnbringer, of course, because Liliana. I have just the trick for this. Will wreck me. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. Man, not having sideboards. Rise and shine. It's so rough. Will we ever get to the sixth win? We need one more win to finish out our plantation event here. Will we ever get there? Okay, red deck. Hey, Project Vanner. Yeah, there's 25 lands in the deck. So I've talked about could be one too many for this best of one format that fixes your draw steps. Or like that fixes your opening hand, so. Prepare for battle. Certainly, it's possible that I have one too many lands. You want to go sit back and watch it burn? Hmm. Not mistake grace for weakness. I believe in you. So I need the black blade to like do like the whole minus six thing to fire. get rid of this fire artisan. Cool, you win 6-0 with this event using my mono black aggro deck? Okay. Ugh. Four toughness, not safe. You do not frighten me. Ooh. Another Sahili and a lightning strike to kill Resplendent Angel. Come on. Well, I guess we have to kill this thing then. I tried my best. I believe in you, friend. I guess I don't play Resplendent Angel. This 
gonna be bad for you. A good oh, hit. It's you burning. My strength gave out. Need them to minus seven there. Oh, we just need one more win, yeah. We're playing this till we can win, get just one more win. Ugh. Almost two hours now. It's the best opening hand we've seen in a really long time. Really is a shame we have to get rid of one of these cards. It's the best opener we've seen in a long time. Yeah, it, ha it has to be one of the four drops. They're both so such good four drops. And it just you know, having no idea what our opponent's playing. I don't know. We're already dead. Alright, so this is not a good best of one deck. So we have determined. Our deck is not good in best of one. Alright, just gonna try to slow them down a little bit by destroying a land. So we take eight.
All right, so plan here is take eight, go to ten, play Soren, get back Pride Mate, attack with Aerialist, and gain two to twelve to trigger both of them. And then they attack. They attack Soren. Um, get to trigger Othakaya. Certainly helps them not having a play here this turn. Taste my blade. I require your body, not your soul. That certainly helps. They kind of have to attack Soren. They're in trouble if they don't. But then Othakaya triggering is very good for us. They could sacrifice Brontodon to destroy Othakaya. That hurts. That's not going to let me trigger my Resplendent Angel now. Wow, if we still had that Aerial List and got to gain 5 life this turn. Oh wait, we, we can't gain 5 life still. Never mind, yeah, we're good. Because we gained 1 right here. There we go. Alright, looks like we finally got our sixth win. Finally got our sixth win. I mean... They could have something crazy, I suppose, and destroy all flyers. Plus seven, plus seven, and trample. Yeah, I couldn't quite get there. Our opponent, that is. Hooray! There's our island. We got that, so a Johnny went on a plankation here. And didn't uh didn't stay within the budget of our plankation. Really charged a whole lot to the expense account. <laughs> but had a good time. So there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's the Johnny's Plankation. Next time we're going to need Hawkeye to help us with that whenever we're playing our cat deck. But I think we found out that playing mid-range, uh, you know, it was like slanted for like Monterey, but playing mid-range in like this, like kind of like defensively slanted mid-range, um, in best of one, not a really good idea. Because you need your cards to line up against control. You need your right removal spells for the right matchups against the other aggro decks. It's tough to play that kind of deck in best of one. That's what we found out. We learned. All right, if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching this event, and I will see you for the next video.